Okay, so we're looking at our angle and construction practice, and we're going to start with number 20. Notice, there are a lot of descriptions here, a lot of sentences describing what's happening to an angle, and there's no angle drawn. So your first step is drawing, sketching an angle. So you don't need to construct one, you don't even need to use a straight edge, I want you to sketch a picture. Now we do not know the measure of angle CDE, so we are just going to guess and draw an arbitrary angle. I don't really know the measure. I don't want it to look like it's 90. We don't want to fool our eyes accidentally because someone last period said, oh, you subtract from 90. There you go. It was not a reason. So I'll make it a little bit less than 90. Okay. So we've got C, D, E, where D, F, is a bisector. So I'm going to do an arc and an arc because DF bisects CDE. So I've done that. Check. Now it says ray DG bisects FDE. So there's another ray. Pretend that was perfect. Cutting that one in half. I've already used a single arc, so now I need to use a double arc. I don't want to use a single arc again because those angles are smaller than the first one. Yeah, it's a lot of rays. That's what angles are. They're made up of lots of rays. I'm going to put a G here. Okay. CDG is 51. Whoa there. This green angle is 51. And it wants us to find the measure of CDE, the whole angle. What I do when we have a picture like this, and we don't have any equation, and we don't have any variable, I start to use a variable. So I pick an angle, and you usually want to start with the smallest thing you're given. So I'm going to pick an angle, I'm going to pick this angle, and I'm going to call it x degrees. That angle has x degrees, I don't know what it is yet, but I'm going to find out. Now, that angle has a double arc. This angle has a double arc. So I'm going to call it x degrees. How many degrees would this angle be right here. Let's see. It has one arc. And the other one that has one arc has two x's. Good. So that angle is two x degrees. Okay. It's looking like I can write an equation here. 51. How many x's open up to 51? 51 goes all the way from here to here. Are we okay with that? Is the 2x and the x are opening up to it because it's C, D, G, not C, D, F. Okay, so 3x is 51, x is 17, that is not the answer. x is 17, and now we want the whole angle, 51 plus 17. That's where we get our 68 degrees. Cool problem. Number 22. Number 22, an acute angle, I'm going to circle that because that's important, measures 6x minus 45. Write an, ooh, that looks like an important word, write an inequality to describe the range of values of x. So an inequality means it's not perfectly equal to. We're not going to find an answer. We're not going to say x equals 5. We're going to find inequality, something that's less than or greater than. So those symbols are called inequality. Okay? Now, let's think of the range that an acute angle could be. An acute angle needs to be less than 90, but it needs to be greater than something as well. We don't do negative angles in here. I'll let your pre-cal teacher handle that. So, it needs to be greater than 0 and less than 90. So let's write that down. Write 0 down. My angle, my angle, which is 6x minus 45, needs to be greater than 0 and less than 90. Is everyone okay with step 1, which is setting it up? So that's step 1. That's the setup. That's the most important part. Now we solve this just like any old algebra problem. If you have minus 45, how do you move it? How do you move it to the other side of the equation? 
The cool part is, whatever you're doing to the middle, you go and do to both sides like this. Whoosh, whoosh. Cool motion, right? Whoosh. So you do it to this side, but don't leave zero out. You'll be so sad. You do it to each part of the inequality. It's kind of fun. So this is gone. Over here, we've got 45. So 0 plus 45 is 45. Is less than 6x, which is less than 90 plus 45. So step one, we added 45, but we did it to both sides. Now what? Divide by 6, and you do it to everything, everything, everything. And so that's why our answer ends up being a decimal, which is not a big deal. 45 divided by 6 is 7.5. And 135 divided by 6 is 28. 2.5. So not bad once you know how to set it up.